All right. Today I have a regular lead acid, 12 or 24 volts solar charge controller, and I'm going to show you how to use this charge controller to charge lithium-ion batteries. And previously I did a review on this charge controller and uh, this controller here is an amazing controller. It's got a USB port, it's got adjustable voltage control, and it can do 12 or 24 volts. It's a very good controller. And um, now I found out a better thing about this controller is that because you can adjust the voltage down to 12.7 volt minimum you can use it to charge these lithium ion batteries and uh, there is a coincidence that three of these will make 12.6 volts and let me show you the calculation here I have so you can charge either three of these or six of these okay I'm going to show you a bit later but here's the calculation so with a three cell lithium ion battery like this one here these are just three of these together to produce 12.6 volts right so each of these maximum 4.2 volts so you got three of these produce 12.6 volt or if you have six of these so this is the cobalt 24 volt cordless tool battery inside here there are six of these 18650 cells and six of these cells will produce 25.2 volt. But let's talk about the uh, the first one, uh, option here. At three cells, it's at 12.6 volt. What I have here is this controller will allow you to go down as low as 12.7 volts. And what that means is you can charge three cells using this controller instead of a lead acid batteries and it is a little bit over voltage because uh, the maximum that you can charge this safely is at 4.2 volts each cell so three of these 12.6 this charge at 12.7 max so it's gonna be 0 0.1 volt over voltage but if you divide by three, right, three cells, you divide that by three, you got 0 0.03 volts over voltage per cell. That will make it up to 4.23 volts each cell. So instead of at 4.2 volts, now it's 4.23 volts if you use this to charge three cells, like this one or this cordless tool battery here. There's also three cells in here and it's a 12 volt uh, lithium ion battery. So you can use this to charge these but just a little bit over voltage. Is it bad? Let me show you why it's not bad. I don't think it's bad. This one here this is the 18650 charger and it charges at 4.2 volt 600 milliamp it charges single cell 18650 cells like this okay and this charger here a lot of us use this and uh, it's all over the the market all over the internet this one here and also this one here uh, this one's just the same except that it's this here you can adjust it so you can charge different cells but it's a lithium ion battery charger and it also charges at 4.2 volts both of these would charge my 18650 cells if I let it charge right when it's full and I don't remove it and I keep put it inside this charger here for a while after it's full it will charge my battery up to 4.25 volts and um, you know that's even higher than this 4.23 volts and uh, I've been using this for years also this never have any problem uh, 
and I think because the 4.2 volt is not an exact science because of tolerances there are tolerances in the manufacturing process so if a manufacturer designed this to be at 4.2 volts it can be within say 2 to 5 percent which is uh, at 4 even 4.25 volts is totally fine so that's why I can still you know I use this every single day for these without any problem so that's why at even at 2.12.7 volts uh, for 3 cell it should be fine and should be no problem so the next question is what if you have 6 cells right because this can also adjust 24 volts so 6 of these is this so inside this cordless 2 battery this is 24 volts inside this there are 6 of these cells six of these and six of these produce 25.2 volts maximum right so if I hook this up in fact I'm gonna I'm gonna do it right now all right let me show you my setup here I have uh, my controller connected to my cordless 2 battery and it's right here and uh, I modified my go kart to run on this college 2 battery and it was uh, from my previous video but anyway it's being connected right now and my battery right now is 25 volts okay. and I have set up this controller when it's at 24 volts um, it will charge the battery at maximum at 25.4 so there you go that's the maximum voltage that this controller will charge my battery okay by the way check out my uh, solar power go kart powered by two 12 volt solar panel to make it 24 volt uh, tube this in series and the controller is down here with the battery, cordless two battery, and I made a video previously. If you want to watch it, I put it in the description below. Alright, so as you saw in the video, uh, the controller was charging my uh, 24 volt lithium ion battery pack um, just fine. And um, let me show you the calculation here. So that's six cells. Um, the controller is charging my battery at 25.4 volts. This is the lowest voltage that this controller can go uh, for a 24 volt system. And I can't go any lower, same as the, uh, the 12 volt system. So for a 12 volt system, this controller can go as low as 12.7 volts and it doesn't go any lower. But that should be fine uh, because the lead acid battery is designed at 12.7 volts. But you know, the, there's a coincidence that uh, you know, in a, in a multiple of 3 or 6, this controller still can charge a lithium ion battery pack. But anyway, so it charges my 24 volt system at 25.4 volts if you divide that, that by 6 you still get 0 0.03 volts over voltage per cell so that's exactly the same as the 12.7 volt system for a 3 cell right so it's still the same uh, it's basically the same uh, same thing and uh, a little bit over voltage but uh, it's still less than these 18650 charger so uh, it's safe to use and I've been charging my battery uh, in my go-kart I just made it like a couple weeks back and uh, it's been through about 20 cycles and it uh, worked just like a charm worked just fine 
So there you have it. How you charge how to charge a lithium ion battery pack in multiple of three or six with a lead acid charge controller. All right, folks, then uh, that's all I have for now. If uh, you have a question, just put it in the uh, comment below and uh, I'll try my best to answer. Thanks for watching.